we interrupt this vlog in progress to bring you a special report. All right, so you'd have to be living under a rock to not be aware of the cheating scandal on Hustler Casino Live between Garrett Adelstein and Robbie Jade Lou. Uh, I'm sure everybody's sick of it by now. I know I'm sick of it, but I may have found a smoking gun. She is clearly lying, and I have proof. We're going to start with a clip from Joey Ingram's first initial podcast where Sean Deeb asks her if uh, she's being or uh, what her relationship is with Rip. And I'm going to show you this clip first. Yeah, Robbie, I just have some questions for you and, and I'll feel free to answer them. I'm not trying to attack you. I just want more information. Um, what is your relationship with Rip? Okay, first of all, I don't know who the fuck you are, and I just feel like you're attacking me. Um, nice to meet you, though, uh, on these pretenses, which is interesting. Well, you can, um, you can text Jock, will, and I meet him going but I've gotten that, a so. lot of I've gotten a lot of feedback about the type of behavior you have towards women, so if this is like an attack on women playing poker, it is what it is. I mean, you can, you can play the sexist card. It has nothing to do with it. Oh, no, I don't, I don't ever do that. I've never, ever dropped it, and if anyone knows that about me, they, they'll know that I've never done that, but... Um, uh. All right, so you can clearly see Sean asks a very simple question. What's your relationship with Rip? And Robbie's immediate response is to get very angry, very defensive, and to deflect the question. She launches into a tirade saying, I don't know who the fuck you are. But then she also claims that she's heard about how he treats women. So do you not know who he is or do you know who he is? Because it sounds like you know who he is, right? And she completely avoids the question. And we don't see an answer to that question until 45 minutes later in the stream when Sean has to bring it up again because she's just rambling with all her bullshit. Let's watch. These guys are all fired up. They all want to know these questions. So, you know, you're so, so, the questions people want to know. So, Robbie, I, I think that you never answered. Did, did Rip have uh, any of your action in this, in this cash game? Rip is very, very well financed by himself, and he um, stakes several poker players. Including you? Yes. So did anyone in the game know that he was staking you in this game? Yes. Okay. All right, so it's 45 minutes later on the stream. He asks her again, and once again, she deflects. She answers, oh, well, Rip stakes lots of poker players. That's not the question you were asked. So he asks her again, including you. And now she finally admits that, yes, she was staked by Rip, which is fine. That's okay. Then he asks her, did anyone else in the game know that you were being staked in this game? And she says, yeah. Well, let's watch this clip, and then I'll discuss after. The, the dream we had is that he's going to come back down and take a chill, take a breather. Uh -huh. He lost a big pot. He got it back. He's 100 and then four people. Right. Okay. But he did it because then. Right. Why, why am I upset? Okay, fine. Okay. I mean, like. Why, why, would, I, why would that make me so upset? Um, now, now they know. Now they know. So in this last clip, we now see that Rip lets the cat out of the bag during the stream that he was staking her, and she doesn't look too happy about it. She's saying, now they know. Now they know. So that implies they didn't know she was being staked. Yet on the podcast with Joey Ingram, she claims everyone knew she was being staked. So I have one question, Robbie. Why are you lying? 